Have they truly been lying to us all along? Why are we not seeing huge highs in the Bitcoin market? And every time we see a correction or a dump, people are freaking out. The end is over. Even people calling the end of the bull run. Well, let's talk about a couple of things in this video. Why I am still remaining exceptionally bullish on this market. Why I still have price predictions around $150,000 for Bitcoin. Because you just need to peel that onion skin back a little bit and understand exactly what's coming. If that's something you're interested in, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Let's dive into it. So welcome back, everybody. As always, turn the notification bell on so you're updated with all the latest and greatest in cryptocurrency. And once again, we are trading in a downward spike, a big dump from 62,000, all the way bottoming out around 58 and a half K. In line though, with what we've been talking about, which is this downward trending channel. We were hoping to hold the 200 exponential moving average, this yellow line here just below it. But today is a new day. Are we about to see the market push to the upside? Well, fingers crossed. You know what they always say though, whenever people are dumping Bitcoin, try and understand exactly what's going on in the background. And you know, that's what we do right here on this channel. In particular, we look at market makers, we look at trading platforms, and we try and understand exactly what's going on. All of this builds a picture up of where you feel like the market is right now. Yes, we can look at technical analysis. Yes, we can look at charts. But when you truly understand where the money is moving around, it paints a very different picture. So we're here on Jump Trading as an example. We've been tracking this wallet for quite some time now, just getting a view as to where everything is. And just to give you a bit of a view of where they sit right now, deposits worth of withdrawals, 6.5 million versus 4.10. They are investing right now into the cryptocurrency market. If you go 24 hours further back, you actually see an even bigger move on the price, namely 13 million in deposits, 19 million in withdrawals. Guess what? That's why the market took a correction. You may say, well, two bit, that's fine. But what else is going on? Well, global asset management, another huge asset manager, nearly $500 million currently sat. They were, guess what? Selling a little bit of Ethereum, buying a little bit of Ethereum. They were absolutely stacking their bags. They currently sit with over $500 million near enough. Actually, a huge proportion of their portfolio all in Ethereum. Ethereum, very interesting. Why all of a sudden would they be picking Ethereum up when everybody else seems to be dumping it? And we talked about that last week. Well, in my opinion, they are front running a couple of things to come in the market. Namely, we have interest rates cuts coming. People are not talking about it. Well, not everybody's talking about it, but usual whales here calling from an interesting conversation that happened on Friday for a 75 basis point emergency cut and then a further one in September. Let's run the clip right now. Uh, yeah, abs absolutely. And, you know, this may surprise me. I'm calling for a 75 basis point emergency cut in the Fed funds rate with another 75 basis point cut indicated for next month at the September meeting. Um, and, and that's minimum. The Fed funds rate right now should be somewhere between, you know, three and a half and four percent. Let me give you very simple logic of my position here. Uh, at the June meeting, the Fed has said that the long run Fed funds rate when inflation reached 2% and unemployment has come up to 4.2% should be 2.8. That's the normal. 2.8 is the normal Fed funds rate. Well, on Friday, we blew it across the employment number. We're at 4.3. That even argues for a lower one. Now, as far as inflation, we're at two and a half percent. We've gone down 90 percent towards the target on the inflation rate. We've we've overshot the target on the employment. Those are the two targets explicitly mentioned by the Federal Reserve. All right. And how much have we moved the Fed funds rate? Zero. So do you think we've got an emergency clip coming? Now, obviously, this is all on the back of the Japanese bank collapsing. But we do know now that we are, well, outpriced. We should be seeing some inflation. Everyone else has done it. The UK has cut twice. Canada's cut twice. Denmark's cut. The US 
hasn't. This is coming. September meeting. If we don't even see something beforehand, this is going to be a cut. This is going to be huge for the market. The first cut in inflation for the US will absolutely ignite the market. And I think it's very, very good news coming in September. Now, what else is coming? Well, options on Bitcoin ETFs. You may be thinking too, bit. what the hell is this? These are people being able to buy and sell specifically. Don't have to go through a broker. You can put or you can trade these. Very interesting. This is coming soon as well. It's been on the pad for a long time. Just look how many of those ETFs actually have the options. Very interesting. The fact that they're even there and they have been put through. We know the CBOE has been trying to push this through as well. So this is good news. And then finally, the Elon Musk Donald Trump debate. We know Trump right now has cryptocurrency on the mind. He's pro crypto. It's one of his big things for this campaign. We also know Elon Musk. We know that he is very pro cryptocurrency. Is this going to be a catalyst tomorrow? Are people pricing the market in? Are we going to see some crazy X idea aligned to Donald Trump's narrative of being the president? Who knows? Lots of people that I think are front running my view a bad decision. I think people are front running a market collapse or a market push down tomorrow. I think it's going to be the other way. I think we're going to see inflows in the ETS market 20 minutes. We're going to see some of these Asian markets open and we'll see how those trade. But when you take a look across the market, Ethereum holding up around 2,500. We also see things like XRP, Casper all holding the nerve. We want to see Bitcoin start to push back to the upside. My view though, trending in this pattern. We've been talking about this pattern now for the longest time. So my view is we are in an uptrend and I think we're going to come and retest this downward trend line of around 69k if we get that break we could absolutely be off to the races and then i think the data that's going to come in on fed rate cuts will ignite the market that's the push back into this year early next year to a big bitcoin price lots to talk about lots of good news stuff coming down the market all very very positive and bullish if you ask me it doesn't stop there we've got tons of stuff coming with altcoins we're gonna have some more potential etfs as well as some huge institutional inflows as well so for me that's right they're all telling you it's gonna dump they're all telling you the bull market's missed you are being told you've missed the bull market well my opinion i don't think he got started yet i think there's significantly more to come and i for one i'm bullish on crypto so let me know what you guys think have we missed the market are we still early have we got these huge price movements to come let me know as always in the comments it really helps out the channel and i love interacting with you guys down there as well so let me know your bitcoin prices let me know your market prices have we missed it or haven't we and do check out some of the links in the description while you're down there if you're going to go and trade futures on mexi or join the token i'm launching very soon on marbits come and check that out it's going to be epic built from the ground up definitely want to keep an eye on as ever, thank you so much for watching the video, everybody. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.